Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how you can easily train a machine learning model which will help you segment images in your dataset. Here when I talk about image segmentation, I mean semantic image segmentation, where each pixel of image is classified as one of the given classes. I will demo this on the brain MRI segmentation data. This dataset contains MRI images of brains and the task is to detect abnormalities in those images. You can see some of the images here. First I need to download this data using this download button. OK, the download is complete. I organize the data like this. So I have here training and test sets. Having test sets is optional, but I anyway created it. Each split has images and masks folder. Images folder contains the actual brain MRI images and masks folder contains masks which show which part of the image has actually abnormalities. Uh, additionally, I have here classes txt and valid txt files. Uh, classes txt files contains information about the type of the pixels. For example, here the pixel 0 means background pixel and uh, 1 means pixel of abnormal section of, of the image. OK, the data preparation has finished. Now I need to train a semantic image segmentation model on this training data. I will use Intellect AI for that. You can go to intellect.ai and download and install it for free. It's a very handy tool which lets you train and deploy machine learning models very easily without writing any code. I have downloaded and installed Intellect AI and started it. So this is how the home page looks like. Now I will need to upload the compressed file to Intellect AI server. For that I need to go to File Explorer, press the upload button and then choose the compressed file to upload it. But I have already done that. It's in my root directory, so as you can see, the everything is here. Now I will go ahead and uh, train a segmentation model on this training data. For that, I go to train model. Now I choose semantic image segmenter. If you, you are, if you are using it for the first time, you can go ahead and learn a bit more about this trainer. Here it shows how you can train a model using this trainer. And the second most important part is it also shows you how, uh, which kind of data sets it supports. Okay, so I go back to train model and choose image image segmenter. Now I will give a name to this training and now I choose a training data train it's now validating the data set it finished the validation now I confirm the dataset choice. Now I will go ahead do the same for the test dataset. I will also confirm this one. I will also shrink the images two times. It will speed up the training. But one needs to be careful with this because shrinking the images too much might, de might decrease the accuracy. So I add the training 
this is a training page as you can see the interesting part here is data explorer here you can see all the uh, all the images from from training and test splits here you can go ahead a bit more here you can also see the masks the opacity of mask you can increase or decrease you can you can see here that it increased if you want to have a close lookup you can actually enlarge the images and check it like this so it's a cool feature here from intellect ai now we can go ahead and start our training the training has finished here we see how training loss decreased over time now i will check the training summary here we see the final loss dice and accuracy scores and we also see the how long it took the trainer to train the model. This is the histogram of dice scores. We see that most of the images, the dice score was either close to one or one. I switch now to predictions. These are the predictions. As you see here, you can increase or decrease the mass opacity. Let's check the next ones. You can also see the ground truths. These are the ground truths. And one nice handy feature is you can check the difference between predictions and ground truths. Here the green pixels are correctly predicted pixels and the red ones are the missed or wrong predictions. The accuracy seems good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this model. The model has been deployed, now I'm gonna test this model. So I choose a picture here. As you see, this part was recognized as abnormal part. Here you can increase or decrease mask opacity as you can see. And that's it. If you would like to use it via API, there is an API endpoint. So you can call it from your own application and get the masks back. That's it. I hope you liked it. Until the next time.